Yeah, okay. You're gonna enjoy this. So tell all the girls. You're gonna enjoy this, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Greetings folks, Jason from Ishibashi Music, Shibuya in Tokyo, and I'm standing here with... Brennan Reed. Where's that classic riff for me, mate? Come on. Messed it up. start out with a real true fact. Out of all the famous dudes I know, this is by long and far my dearest and closest friend out of all the oh. famous people that I know. Well, we've been friends for a long time. You right? have been, you have been. You have been, been friends for a very long time. And uh, now you've changed guitar brands to PRS. Tell people the truth about how that came about for us, would you? Uh, sure. <laughs> well, um, I'll just say that my previous company, Parker, makes a fine guitar. True. I had a signature model. Um, there's a lot, there was a lot of, the person that brought me into the company was gone. And from the point, from the time they let him go, it just became, the attention kind of started to lapse a bit. So that's pretty much it. But the guitars are great guitars. So how did that become PRS? I had a conversation with Paul, thanks to you. That's what I was trying to get out of you. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, like it didn't happen, didn't happen out of nowhere. No, no, no uh, Paul. That, that's a true story. I'm not trying to brag, but it's a true story. We've humble been friends brag. for a long so time. Humble. Yeah, okay. And as most of and you know, no, not at all. As most <laughs> of you know, Paul and I are also good friends. And Vernon called up and said, could you please contact Paul? Because I haven't spoken to him for a while and just reconnect us. And that's all I did. That was all my role. And it was, fun. It was very funny because I thought about Paul because I came into the shop and saw the wall of Paul. The, yes, exactly. the wall of Paul, I like that. The wall, you know, the, the other wall of Paul opposite from the other, the, there's a wall of Paul over there, but that's like the last, metaphorical name, last wall. name Paul. Ah, this I see what you're the saying. first name Paul. That's so. a good point. Right. Yeah, good. One. I yeah, realize that now. Opposite walls of Paul. Of course, the Les Paul wall over there and a Paul Reed's. I, you know, I never thought of that before. That's why you have me. That's very true. That's why I came to Japan. Thank you, my dear. So I came to Tokyo. Just to talk save about me. the walls of Paul. Okay. So with this and Paul, this Paul. When I, but but it's funny. I I we have been, I Living Color have been touring a bit, and, and we uh we had done some shows with Mark Tremonte, and Tremonte is a Paul Reed Smith endorser. So I saw Paul Reed Smith, the guitars, and of course my one of my mentors, Carlos Santana, is associated with Paul Reed Smith, and I've known Paul. For, for a very long time. He's always been very supportive of the band Living Color, supportive of me as a player. And we've, and, and we've always had a warm relationship. And in fact, I, I have a McCarty that, that Paul gave me from years ago. Back in the day. Back in the day. Nice. And, um, and it's, it, I mean, he's been, a, he's been a stand up guy. And so we had this conversation because I saw these fabulous um, guitars, you know, private stock guitars and stuff, with, with fabulous war guitars. And, uh, and um, I thought, man, I should reach out to Paul. And Paul happened to be in Japan, and, and you, you kind of said something to him, right? Yeah, yeah, I mentioned, yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. And I also called him up as well after he was gone. And then we, and then we had a, a wonderful conversation, and he sent me a couple of uh, custom 24s, and they were really nice. But I, I like a V-shaped neck, and one of the things that kind of made it really happen was I sent the uh, guitars back because I was talking to the artist rep guy, a Rich. Yep. Um, and uh, Rich Hammond. Hannon. Hannon. Rich Hannon. Sorry, Rich. Rich Hannon. Yep. I, I flew. I flew eleven hours. What do you want? A Rich Hannon. And I mentioned to him. He says, "I'm gonna send them back," and with the idea that the shop was gonna do it. So I sent back these custom 24s, and Paul went and took the guitars himself. So he did it by hand. And he by reshaped himself. the necks himself. And, wow. And on this guitar which is an S2 Vela. Let's have a look from the back. Wow, you can really see it. I hope this comes up on the camera, actually. You know what, with the lighting there, you really can. There's a very strong V on there for the guitar neck. 
So if I find something flat, so let's take this price card here right. and lay that across the back. You can see there with the angle there, how much of that is really V'd off. And there you go, so from that angle there. That's seriously strong V'd. And I noticed from playing the guitar earlier over at Soundcheck yeah. that it's actually the same thickness the entire way. Yeah. Yeah. So you like that ergonomically for playing or what? Very much so. I, I, I It started, um, for me, years ago I played a 63 Stratocaster that had a V-shaped neck. They From 63 to about 65, yep. they, they, had, they experimented with different shaped necks. And one of the shapes that they had in those years was a V-shaped neck. It was one of the necks that they, you could find on some of these guitars. And I just loved it. And from that point on, like I've always had like the V shape as as a as a neck profile. So it's very traditional to a classic strat. That's awesome. Yeah, and it's it's, it's a little more extreme, but you know also Martins have the very they have the the Martins that have very much so yes. So I, I love this neck profile. I actually like two neck profiles. I like the V shaped neck, and I like the very very round neck like a like a half SG, a baseball bat like a sg like a sg but it with it's almost like half of a circle oh like, like a 58 les paul yeah like the really round yep. so those are the two i like most more than flat the flat ones so moving on from there because that's very traditional yeah you go completely modern with your electronics on the guitar right so what's uh, the story here this is a this is a, a hex pickup a rolling hex pickup because i use uh some of their gear i use the G gr55 and the vg99 but you know so just for the record and i am bragging again it was me who had to chase up the head of roland for him a couple of years ago so that you could get so those. humble <laughs> and now you're short but now it's true there. but it's and true looking, though it is now I'm true, looking down it? at you man because I'm, I'm, I'm down on my knees for the guitar <laughs> shooting oh, yeah, come on oh. no i'm bowing to you oh, Mr. Don't, Reed. oh, oh don't let's not go there no let's not no, anyway so back to the guitar anyway so next pickup allows for the, like six individual pickups so you can do polyphonic tunings and you know, you can control synthesizers and stuff like that. And um, so there's the hex output. And, and also um, EMGXs. Now, with your switching on the Roland, you were just telling me before we started filming this that you can customize these dials on. Yeah, they can be volume or tone, or you can you can assign them. to say if you want them to be like the rate of a phase shifter, or if you want them to be a cutoff, or frequent, you know, cutoff or resonance. For auto wire, you can assign them. So basically, like MIDI control change numbers. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's awesome. Exactly. And you do that inside of the Roland yeah. unit, and yeah. it programs inside them on the, the guitar, yeah. does it? Exactly. You know, you, it, yeah, you just sell, tell it what you want to do. Wow. And also, these switches, you could have them be kind of virtual three position switches, so you can go you know, patch up, patch down. Yep. If you don't have a foot controller, you can do, you can do that sort of stuff. So, what about the mini switch here? What's that there? This for? basically is. Uh, all get all magnetic pickups, mix, all hex pickups. Ah, like a piezo switch. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Like right. the P twenty two and so P twenty four. Just the hex, that or that. Okay. And is it true that they completely custom made that guard for you for this guitar? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. They I had remember to, they reading had to, about they that. Had to they had to redo. They had to do it because um, that. Well, it's, it's a bunch of, bunch of things about the way the it's about the way the neck was set. Um, using these EMG pickups, uh, also making accommodation for the hex that they made a, a custom, also to accommodate the controls. To yeah, of course. The controls. And um, actually, I'm, I'm having another one made that's going to be a um, hum single hum configuration. Ah, oh, cool. Vela is really a stock tailpiece guitar and since I started this relationship with PRS I asked them could you take because I, I, I saw this body shape and I flipped out yep you know because it's kind of kind of flattens the arch top out it's it's actually kind of a more traditional flat kind of rock guitar profile on the body oh yeah 
Mm -hmm. I like what they did with the upper horn, with the horn and stuff. And so when I saw an, an ad for the for this guitar, and I was like, I called Rich, and I was like, Rich, dude, I, could you could you put a Floyd on one of these? And they were like, Huh? What? I said, Yeah. Could, could so they'd never put a Floyd on, this. and I believe they'd never put a hex pickup on a PRS before. Is that uh, right? They've done it. They've done them, but they've done them. They've done them real. They've done them pretty well. Okay, but never integrated like that, though, right? No. Okay. Not so much. So if people want to buy one, <laughs> literally, they're not a well. Sorry, I shouldn't say literally. Um, well, you can, you can, you can they're not available have, yet, right? They're not available yet. Also, I mean, we're, it would be great if they were like a limited, maybe for a limited run. Yep. I, I actually think this could be done without, you know, if you, if you don't want to have the the uh, hex pickle paraphernalia, this guitar would work very well just as a Floyd instrument. Makes sense. Know, stock Floyd instrument. So the next most important part is for people who check this out and they want to buy one, where are they going to get it from? What you're going to do is you're going to tweet at Paul Reed Smith Guitars and ask them. Okay, so basically get on Twitter and get up PRS get on Facebook, to say yeah, you want it. Say, hey, you want, you know, you want, you a, want a Vernon Reed see signature. See, there's a VR, yep. which was very nice of them to do. For virtual reality, of course. Virtual reality. It's, uh, all, of our, all of our realities are virtual. Aren't they indeed? In a sense, aren't they? <laughs> Color fans, when is the new album coming out? Um, 2016. enjoyed the catch up with Vernon yeah um, if you have never seen the band Living Color and you don't know them go and see a show easily we have fun. one of the we have fun. greatest bands ever um, I don't know really what else to say to these folks look that's Vernon I'm Jason hi there it's the hi end there. of our bye video. there that'll do nice thank you yeah.